Hi, this is KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today and start advertising for free. And if you get a chance, go to eBay, type in KGM Jam and check out my eBay store. Please like and follow, support it in any way that you can. And here we are on Monday, June the 3rd, 24 timestamp. And this is Golem Overlord. Okay, and I have not battled yet, so let's go ahead and do the battles real quick. And then I'm going to show you the new system that uh, Yixin has implemented. Okay, so right now I'm doing 150 to 160. And then let's do 155. And that's 155 or less. That's on the faith. This is on the fortifications. And it puts me right at that... 80% I think or 70% yeah 74% right there on that one okay now let's do the stash and that guy can actually be attacked so let's see what happens oh and I gotta put in Usually somebody with that many, uh, big of a stash, I can't, yes, he's protected. Okay. I don't know why that's showing that he's not, but that happens sometimes. And you can just look up here and you'll see if I win. If I, if I win, it goes up in value. If, it, if I don't, it goes down. But that way I can hurry up because the higher I get, the bigger of a target I get. So I got to go quick. So all I'm doing is instead of waiting to see what happens, I go on to the next one. As soon as that does that, I can go on to the next one. And I got seven more battles. So let's hurry up and knock this out before somebody notices me and takes my stash. In this game, it's good to steal. It's designed to steal, but that's why you need a battle to get it back. And you, at the very least, usually you get back what people stole. So, you know, it's kind of a wash but sometimes you do much better. Especially if you can get it done before anybody attacks you. Which I was attacked all throughout the night. Okay, four more. And I really, if you look, I haven't been winning that much. Man, is it moving slow. I've I've lost like every single battle. There I go. One finally won one. Maybe two. I need a couple big victories here to really make it worthwhile. Oh well. Not today, unless this one's a big one. Okay, so that's what I got. So let's claim real quick. Before, and somebody still hasn't attacked me, so I'm lucky in that regard. Now, if they attack you while you're doing this, it will kick it back out, and you have to go back. Okay. So there we go. Now I got the VIP pass, so it automatically burned, let me see, 480 parts because you multiply that by 10 or divide it by 10, and that's how you get, that's how many was burnt, right? It was 48, and then, so it automatically took 480 and put it back in there, and then I do an extra 25 just to get it a little bit above from where it was at. Now, I've got a very balanced attack here, a very balanced system, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If you haven't joined this game yet, the link's below. Please join through my link. It helps out. But uh, this game is constantly upgrading, and it's a very fun, laid-back, you know, uh, few minutes here. I do it twice a day. Actually, well, with the new system, I've been coming on more, and I'll show you why. Okay, so anyway, so I got 1,000... 913 parts left. How did I get so many? I 
Oh, because I had a balance left over. That's right. Okay. So anyway, um, so the next thing I do is I pay off these three right here. You got power, fortification, and faith. I just do the lowest one, right? This one's 963 to promote it. And I'll go ahead and do that. So twice a day now, unless something really bad happens, I got enough parts to advance one of those three attributes. Okay, there's that. So I got a balance of 950. Then I, I put 100 into the experience points. Now, that's not a lot, but I'm not in a hurry to upgrade the prestige. I should be, but I'm not, and, and I'm going to show you why. Since I started doing it this way, I have dropped down to 936 because these three seem to have more weight on that ranking than the other ones. And then with the Golem charging station, same thing. I add another 100 points. And there's that. So the only thing left is I want to put 50 parts into the Hive engine so I can put that into my savings. And there we go. And I have not completed any quest. So I'm almost got this one done. And this one's finished guild claim multiplier. We're working on that. So we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so there we go. That's my pretty much daily routine with Golem Overlord. Now, the new thing is down here in the guild is the research points. Now, I've already, I maxed out at 21 when I woke up this morning. And I've already put them in. So I got three since I did that. And I'm, con now we can do any of these, but I'm concentrating on the bunker. And it's gotten kind of expensive. But I've got plenty of parts, and that's what I'm concentrating on. So you go down here, and you can do the shard claim multiplier. That's what most of us are working on. You can do the guild size and the part stash. Part stash, I could care less. I I've got more stash availability than I can use. So I don't see a rush on that one, but we'll level it out eventually. Guild size, yeah, I think we got one extra spot right now, but let's go to here. And it's now 7.36 per, and I got three, so it's going to be like 22, 23 parts, okay? And I'm going to donate it. And there we go. And then it shows it right there. So just... Right now, I did, and seven minutes ago, Smithers did it, and then I did it earlier, then Ghostly. See, it has a list right there, then it has a time donated, and I guess I'm in second place, if, if that's what that means. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, as we research this, we get bonuses, and this is the claim multiplier. So we're up to 1.5%. Look at that, guys. We can get up to 7%. So any parts you're putting into it, you're going to get paid back over time in shards so it's worth it even though you might think it's not at first but it is okay and then here if you got any of these which i'm not clear on these blueprints but they do help out it says use to donate three blueprints okay well i don't have any blueprints right now but if i get some I've already had some donated. But anyway, so then you can go to, if you don't want to donate to that, you can go to the Golem Tower, which gives you a different kind of bonus. Scavenger Golems, look at that, 12%. We'll, we'll, we'll get working on this as, you know, right now I think the one we're working on is the most important. Rep conversion. It's just awesome. And then if you don't have anything to do, it goes to the vials which I did have one yesterday that I donated. Okay, so there it is. That's my daily routine. And this has got me down to 936. And I'm at 18,500 at 21,000. I'll grow up to 15, and then I'll start over again. And that's it. Let's go look at inventory. 
Okay, I just upgraded my cap here. And I've got all these empty that I haven't been able to get them. Now, you can go buy them on the market, but they're expensive. But, okay, let's do these I'm going to use on one of those. These are where they, it gives you a chance to infuse an extra stat. I do not like the ones that erase it and because you could get worse. That's too big of a gamble for me. On these kind right here, which this is the best one, I think, uh, you get a chance to add an extra stat. And these are the stats right here. See the stats, plus two max energy, plus three faith, plus 10% bigger part stash, which I, I don't need. I don't need that. Some people do. I don't need it. Okay, but here's what I'm going to use for the next claim. Remember, I'm claiming twice a day, once in the morning, once at night for an 8% bonus. Okay, so I just do whichever I have the most of. And right now I'm tied with energy and fortification. So let's go ahead and do the fortification. Use. So that's going to give me extra protection. So if somebody attacks me, it's harder for them to steal my parts. And I don't have any uh, scouts or anything else to burn. And see, this also is a chance to infuse. So I'll get working on those. And then I got these extra ones, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. I'm kind of saving them because, I don't know, rainy day or something. But anyway, uh, that's it. If you got any questions or answers, please leave a comment below. I'm doing a, right now, probably a weekly comment video uh, that answers. If you leave a question or a comment, uh, I will read it on that video because I'm not really overwhelmed right now with comments and questions. Also, if you leave a comment and then later on you see it's not there, contact me. Because I've been having a problem with people leaving comments and they're disappearing. I've reset the adjustment in the settings to like let me decide whether a comment is there. Right before I had it, uh, YouTube was doing it, but they're too sensitive. They, they, they were cutting out comments that weren't bad. They just, for some reason, I guess it's to cover their ass. They got it real sensitive, and it's just taking out the comments and all that. Um, so there we go. Oh, I got to go. See that 50 in the high engine? I'm going to put that into my savings. And there we go. And there I am with my claim. Now... Because of this new system, if I'm around or online, I jump on there because this maxes out at 21. It's one every 20 minutes, three an hour. So uh, if it maxes out, you're losing out on points. So I'll probably come in here at noon, probably at 5 o'clock, and then my last claim, which I usually do about 9 o'clock at night. So there we go. All right. Thank you for watching. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club. Uh, check out my eBay store, KGM Jam, and I know your time's important. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.